Well, joined now by journalist and Middle East expert Sharif Nashashibi. Thank you, Sharif, for coming in this Bye. morning. As Susanna was just pointing out in that, that film, it is so complicated. There is so much going on. Can you remember a time when, when there were so many countries in the Middle East in conflict? No, I mean, this is the worst I've ever seen. It. And the, the problem is there are so many crises at the same time that are all in various ways interlinked that it makes the region as a whole extremely unstable and it's very difficult to, to solve any of these crises individually. One of the interesting things, I think, is that, you know, so this time last year we were talking about whether we should take military action against the authorities in Syria. Now we have a common enemy, the Islamic State. Well, it's a very, it's a very difficult process because you, you now currently have uh, U.S. and British uh, forces in there and uh, uh, airstrikes from, from the U.S., um, and it's a very tricky situation because you have a lot of people that are very um, suspicious of British and American involvement, particularly in Iraq, given the invasion and occupation. Um, so, and you also have a, a, you know, resentment from people who say, well, why didn't you intervene in Syria? You know, there are 200,000 dead there. So it's, it's very tricky because the barbarity and expansion of, of the Islamic State has to be stopped. But the, the, the tricky thing is to, to make sure that, that you don't do more harm than good. Um, in the process. Uh, the, talking of the Islamic State, uh, what sort of longevity do you think it has? And uh, does it have sort of any? I, I, I'm personally suspicious that it has any longevity because it is, it, it is facing so many different enemies and it is, it is treating the people under its rule in such a bad way that I think eventually it's going to go the same way as Al-Qaeda did in Iraq where the people under its rule are going to rise up um, and that will make it unsustainable besides the fact that it is fighting so many different forces at the same time. Meanwhile we heard um, overnight uh, the US saying that it's um, sending special forces but a large scale evacuation of those people that we have seen on the mountain suffering in the conditions is less likely. Uh, well, what impact is that going to have? We've all been told that these people are having an absolutely brutal time. They've already suffered enough. And they might have hoped that the West would come in and, and get them off the mountain. And that now doesn't look like it's going to happen. Well, I, I, think, I think any party or country that wants to get involved in the situation has to look at the, the wider picture, that, that, that ISIS, the Islamic State, is, is treating everyone under its rule in such a horrendous way. Uh, I mean, it's more brutal than Al-Qaeda was. So um, it has to look at the bigger picture that there is really a humanitarian disaster happening um, under all territories under ISIS's rule in Iraq and Syria. So they have to look at this in a bigger picture and not simply look at the situation on, on a mountain um, because that's, that's a microcosm of the wider problem. Okay, Shreve Nashashibi, thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you.